and wanting to stay healthy. Now, back in the series, didn't have too much production last night, but he was a huge factor the last time these two teams saw each other in Chestnut Hill. Sees that and gets the puck back for Michigan State. Stramel to O'Connell. O'Connell cross to Howard. Howard in the circle, across, shot and Charlie Stramel lights the lamp for Michigan State, and the Spartans go up 1-0 halfway through the first period. In all of college hockey, let's take another look. He just waits and waits, and Stramel gets left wide open on the other side of the ice, and he has a wide open net. That's what you got to do if you want to beat Fowler. Not going to get by him easy. You got to make him, getting move him, get. Howard entering in. Up to O'Connell. We'll see if this second line can produce once again. Up to Andrews. Andrews trying to find Stramel and off the skate of Higgins. And now a breakaway opportunity for James Higgins. Pass over to Perot and he will score. Boston College answer is right back. And who else but Gabe Perot of that top line? He will get his first of the season and tie this one up with exactly three minutes left in the first. Trailing behind him, and he thought he would make Augustine think a little more as he drops it off, and Perot just picks the corner. Shows why both those players are some of the most highly touted players in college hockey. Portis with the puck behind his own net. Sends it up in the circle, picked up by D'Angelo. D'Angelo to Basgill. Basgill sticks, snapping in half as he takes that slap shot. And now a chance for Ryan Leonard. Shoots, and he scores! Two quick goals, and the Eagles take the lead. Ryan Leonard getting his first of season off that breakaway. First it was Perot, now it's Leonard. Looks like it hit both posts. That's a just very unfortunate break for the Spartans. Basgill's stick breaks, and Leonard's off and running. And just like that, within minutes, Boston College takes a one. 15 to one in faceoffs. That is an outstanding number for the Spartans. Yeah, they just got another one open the second period, so we know it wasn't a first period fluke. But I mean, if Michigan State's able to dominate. And right there, a goal from Red Savage. As we're talking about domination, Yusuf, they answer 30 seconds in to the first period. The captain gets the goal. Second period. First series at home as the captain, and what a way to make your impact felt. Tie in this game just 30 seconds into the second period. He does a great job finding the open ice. It wrapped around by Leonard. Powell couldn't keep it in on the blue line. Has to play down to the neutral zone. Gustafson sending it right back in, wrapping it around the boards. Russell trying to get there first. Latorno to Stiga. 23 seconds remaining in the power play. Nettian stepping on the ice across to Leonard. Leonard firing a shot and just bouncing in. The Eagles will answer right back. So we'll take another look at that goal here. Yeah, and it right was. off. Right off. Basgill sends a pass off the boards for Gucciardi. Howard dumps it in. Stramel chasing after it. He'll fight along the boards with Fortescue. Gucciardi gets to the blue line, firing a shot, and he'll score! Looking now, I believe it was tipped in by Stramel. Back up again. Yeah, let's take another look. Yeah, it looks like that puck changed direction a little bit. This will give us a better chance of knowing if it did or not. Stramel just posted up in front of the net with that big frame, and yeah, he gets a piece of it. But Gucci already a great job creating offense on that shift. Shouty setting it up for Savage. Savage firing a shot. That one just off the shoulder of Fowler. Savage fighting to get that one over the blue line. Shouty comes into his aid. Players fighting for it. Goes out to the neutral zone, but Lukashevich over to Andrews. Andrews wraps that one around. Dorwart coming in. Dorwart to Russell and Danny Russell! Right as he comes onto the ice, Danny Russell gets the go-ahead goal for Michigan State. That chemistry right there. Dorward, I don't even think he looked. He knew Russell was racing to the net and Russell wastes no time, flicking it up over the shoulder of Fowler, and the Spartans regain the lead. And Danny Russell just flying off the bench, came out.